this is the final stage of breaking for Lord Admiral, the yearling thoroughbred that Cincy and I just got. In the last video, you saw Lord Admiral the first time he had the saddle and the rider. In this final stage, Lord Admiral is working in a small corral with the rider. He's learning to gallop with the weight on his back, change leads, go from a jog or a trot to a gallop and just get used to the whole new process of working with the rider. After a couple more days of this kind of work, he will begin his conditioning for racing. And that will consist of galloping on the racetrack. Rather than comment on this, I'm going to let you listen to the conversation between the veterinarian, Dr. Eccleston, and Steve Charles, who runs the training facility here, uh, and myself in Cincy. He picked up the proper lead, that's good. It, it, it's a big adjustment for these horses to have. Uh, uh, all of a sudden, your center of gravity goes up two feet, and, you're, and, and it's moving around. Well, that's it's a big adjustment. Man. People don't, you know, and then I got people come out here with well, that kid, you know, the, these hundred, these hundred people, they think these things that these guys, no, these guys aren't trained as equestrians. They don't have, they've not been to school or anything else. But the thing is, I said, you put one of those kids up on one of these things and see how good you look. <laughs> you know, when you're up there, you're trying to get the horse to perform and you're trying to get, keep yourself from getting killed. They don't quite get it. Pretty good for like the second or third time up there, remember? Big cold, yeah. Billy cold. Billy cold. Sixteen and three quarters of an inch. Is he putting that in the last just week? two now? Just coming two? No. Oh, All yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, he's coming two. Yeah. When was he? What was he? When was he? He wasn't born in January. March. Is that late? March twenty second. This is what's so hard for these babies most of the time. He's doing good. It's when they go from the big circle to a little smaller yeah. circle. They don't quite know how to transition. He did real well. I remember when Nearchalus did that. He's really agile for his size. I, I like his legginess in relation to his, his uh, the bulk of his body, good, you know. Got good leg on the knee. He's, he's a really nice horse. These are the guys that yeah, you got to take your time with these big horses. These are yeah. They're very prone to do things with themselves. Yeah. This is the one we put, you know. Yeah, got it. I mean, that's that's the one thing that they do do. They're trying to get that head cranked off the one side sometimes. But there again, that that's kind of an effort to keep it getting whacked too. So somebody comes undone. These guys must have an adrenal gland about the size of your liver, you know? <laughs> Wouldn't you think? I mean, it's as much as much too many times you think, whoa. <laughs> Really good, Raul. Yeah, yeah real good. good. Yeah. That pound increases the density of the bone. Yeah. Well, mine. 